Hello, my name's Adele Parks and I'm the author of this novel, Woman Last Seen. This is my 21st novel and it's um, a psychological thriller or domestic noir. I never know which exact genre to place my books in, but uh, you can decide. Anyway, it's incredibly good, you ought to read it. Um, what's it about? Uh, the story is set at the beginning of the pandemic. I think a seminal week for all of us. It was the week before the very first lockdown. It happens to be set in London, but I think everybody across the globe that was locked down will relate to uh, some of the problems in this book. Two women go missing that exact week. They seem unrelated and there is no reason for these two women to be connected. One of them's a very busy mother and management consultant who juggles her home life and her work life. The other is um, a glamorous, slightly indulged, shall we say, I don't want to use the word spoilt, woman who is married to her younger, very handsome, very wealthy husband. They live in a penthouse. So Lee and Kai live a couple of miles away from one another because people in London can live cheek and jowl, although have very, very different lifestyles. But other than the fact that they physically live close to one another and they've both gone missing at the same time, their lifestyles and they oughtn't to connect them at all. However, the detective in charge of the case quickly finds a profound and shattering link between these two women that um, means both families are under incredible scrutiny and pressure. Can't tell you what it is, but uh, it is worth reading to find out. Um, I am going to read to you the first chapter of this book to, I hope, uh, lure you in. Tuesday the 17th of March. I am engulfed in emptiness. I'm not in my bed, I'm not in any bed. In the instant my eyes flutter, open, I know there is something wrong, seriously wrong. It's dark. I'm suspended in a threatening, airless blackness. I'm lying down, but I'm disorientated because I'm on a cold, concrete floor. A floor that looks as though it's waiting to be tiled. But something immediately suggests to me that it never will be. My mind is lazy and unable to process why I think this. I can't remember when I last slept on a floor, a million years ago when I was a student. I try to stand up, but as I do so, I am yanked back down. My hand is tethered, chained. I hear the rattle of the chain at the same time as I feel the cold tug. Am I dreaming? My head pulses, swells and then bursts. I close my eyes again. My lids are like sandpaper scratching. I open them for a second time, giving them a chance to adjust to the darkness. Is it my dizziness that's leaving everything unfamiliar, shaky? I feel slow and behind myself. How much did I have to drink last night? I try to remember, I can't, and this is terrifying. I realize I can't remember last night at all. I feel sick, I can smell vomit, suggesting I have already been sick. I should not be waking to the smell of vomit. Where is the smell of my husband's early morning breath? There is no smell of toast in the kitchen, no traces of the Joe Malone lime and basil room spray that I sometimes wake up to. I'm, I'm somewhere dusty, not damp, a little over warm. Am I in a hospital? No. What sort of hospital makes patients lie on the floor and change them? There are no sounds. My boys are not arguing in the kitchen. The TV is not blaring, no doors opening, slamming, no demands. Mum, where are my football sh shorts? I sometimes wake to something more serene. Sometimes it's Radio 4 and the smell of coffee. Nothing. Alarm and horror flood through my body. My organs and limbs turn to liquid and I can't coordinate my movements. None of us are that naive anymore. The news doesn't always enlighten or inform. Often it terrifies. My foggy mind realizes I must have been drugged. I've been abducted. The terrible thing that you read about that happens to someone else, someone other, has happened to me. So someone is locked up. We don't know which of the two women it is. We don't know um, what they've run from or towards or who has taken them. And the book, I hope, presents a number of twists and turns and reveals 
that will keep you uh, turning pages at a fast rate to discover the answer to those questions. Thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to hearing what you think of Woman Last Seen.